Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Terrence Bud Crawford said a lot of fighters should be thanking him for moving up in weight. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest unboxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We are working. Now, it looks like Terrence Crawford is going to be fighting Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn successfully defended his title. Got an 11th round TKO stoppage over Gary Corcoran after the Pacquiao fight. So, he had, I believe, two fights in 2016. And... Terrence Crawford had a phenomenal year himself, became undisputed, unified with Julius and Dongo. A lot of people put him, including myself, number one pound for pound. Let's get into Terrence Crawford's tweet. Terrence Crawford says, I see a lot of you fighters happy I went up and wait. You should all thank me, right? And I liked it. It's, 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 a, it's a snarky type of comment and I like it from Crawford because just to this is my perception of it today they just announced the mikey garcia versus sergey lipinitz who's the ibf champion fight at 140. so obviously to me it's very coincidental and convenient that he released this tweet today the day of the not just the day of but after they announced the fight so i think this is kind of an underhanded subliminal message to guys like mikey garcia and sergey lipinitz saying you should be happy I'm moving up to welterweight because if it if it weren't for me moving up, then those titles wouldn't be available. You know what I mean? And I think um, also they announced uh, Kareel Relic versus Rancis Bartholomew rematch and they're battling for the WBA fight. So literally Crawford makes a strong point because that's two belts that I could think of that are supposed to happen on the same card on February 10th on Showtime. And two belts that were all held by Terrence Crawford. Once again, put this in your pipe and smoke it. Terrence Crawford was undisputed at 140. Meaning he had, at, at his climax, he had all of the belts. You know what I mean? By him moving up, all the belts were freed up. Another person that did something kind of similar, but not for a move up, was Andre Ward. In him retiring, now Kovalev is already back a champion, right? Another similar situation. Well, oh, actually, Arter better be of too. He's the IBF champion. And that's because Andre Ward retired and left all those belts. So all the belts got scattered, right? Another similar situation would be Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury failed two drug tests, had to relinquish his belts. All of a sudden, Joshua Klitschko became for Joshua's IBF belt. And then also, I think it was the WBA belt, right? Joseph Parker beat Andy Ruiz for the vacant belt. So in Tyson Fury having that mishap the belts got scattered so that's the same thing but for Crawford's situation unlike Tyson Fury Crawford didn't fuck up in fact he did something that hasn't been done since probably Jermaine Taylor or Bernard Hopkins which is a good thing he didn't fail a drug test he became undisputed and then said you know what that's done let me wipe my hands of this 140 I already cleared house let these other guys fight for it and I'm going towards the fire you gotta man you gotta respect this man Crawford I don't understand why he seems like he would be even bigger everybody should put respect on this man's name I mean not only he could have stayed an undisputed listen he was undisputed he could have fought Sergey Lipinitz and in my honest opinion he would dog Sergey Lipinitz right and that was his mandatory but he didn't want challenges like that you know what I mean he's already beaten Mikey Garcia in the amateurs he has more fights at 140 than mikey garcia so in my opinion with the amateur victories even though amateur and pro is different plus the fact that he has more experience and the style i would favor at 140 i would favor crawford to beat mikey garcia too you know what i mean and then there's other guys like jose ramirez and amir mom who are going to fight for a title i believe victor postal and regis progus are going to fight for a title for the wbc title i think it is so with crawford moving up he did do everybody a favor. And like I said, he could have sat at the division and milked it, knowing that he would probably be favored to beat anybody at 140. I mean, if you're undisputed, I think you would probably be the betting favorite. But guess what? Crawford didn't do that. He accomplished it. He did it, set it in history, right? You know, he put his name in the history books as 
the first guy, it was him or Golovkin that were close to being undisputed. And Golovkin still isn't undisputed and damn near lost his belts to Canelo, but they scored it a draw. You know what I mean? So Terrence Crawford became the first guy in in a long time to become undisputed, which is almost an underappreciated forgotten thing in boxing. But anyway, he did the damn thing. And instead of milking it and staying in a division where he could even dominate more, you know, what I mean, he's going up to the he's running towards the fire where the guys are bigger, the guys are hitting harder. And you got guys like Keith Thurman with two belts. You got guys like Errol Spence. Right. You got guys like Jeff Horn who has solid power. You know, what I mean, you got to respect Terrence Crawford for that. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment and subscribe to the next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.